welcome back students myself mrs felina gonzalez teacher of shri vidya mandir english high school maharashtra board basse today we are going to learn chapter 9 of science for standard 6 the topic is motion and types of motion in our day to day life we see many object like vehicles on the road houses and trees some of them are moving while some do not the object that change the position are known as moving object while the object which do not change the position are known as non moving object we see car changing the position hence it is an example of a moving object while building and tree do not change the position hence this are example of non moving object or we can say as stationary object so we can say that in our day to day life we see many moving object moving object are said to be object in motion for example motion of a football motion of merry go round motion of a moving bicycle so what is motion the continuous displacement of an object is called motion an object is motion continuously show displacement so what is displacement change in the place of an object is called displacement for example while waiting for a bus at a bus stop other vehicle appear to be in a state of motion on the other hand when you are in motion yourself a still object appears to be in moving for example the trees are seen to run backward while you are traveling in a train if an object is seen by an observer to change its place continuously the object is said to be in motion so let's learn about types of motion there are two types of motion linear motion and non linear motion under linear motion there are two type uniform linear motion and non uniform linear motion under non linear motion we have oscillatory motion circular motion random motion and periodic motion let's learn about this motion in detail linear motion the motion of an object in a straight line is called linear motion for example a train or a moving vehicle on a road may travel in a straight line or in the same direction this motion of an object is called linear motion an object in linear motion shows displacement along a straight line even if you stand on a chair and release a ball from your hand it falls to the floor in a straight way this is the example of linear motion now there are two types of linear motion uniform linear motion and non uniform linear motion let's learn about this one by one uniform linear motion when distance travels by an object along a straight line in unit time is the same the motion is called uniform linear motion now you all might have seen a parade of a soldier on independence or republic day during that parade we do not see even a slight difference in their motion such motion is uniform linear motion even example motion of the hand of the clock because the hand of the clock cover the equal distance in equal interval of time these are the example of uniform linear motion So what is non uniform linear motion when distance travels by an object along a straight line in unit time keeps on changing the motion is called non uniform linear motion you all have played on a slide when you come down from the slide you have experienced that your speed is increasing continuously 
such motion is non uniform linear motion even motion of the person jogging in the garden is the example of non uniform linear motion let's know about non linear motion you all might have seen a movement of a butterfly in a garden they do not follow a straight path so we can say this as non linear motion so the ex definition is when an object moves but not in a straight line it is called non linear motion example motion of the animal roaming in the jungle there are four types of non linear motion oscillatory motion circular motion random motion periodic motion now let's study these types of motion in detail the first one is oscillatory motion you all might have experienced the swing the swing always comes back from one end to the other end it takes about the same time for each swing so we can say that the motion of an object swing back and forth that is oscillatory is called oscillatory motion for example motion of the wings of a bird motion of the needle of a swing machine movement of a pendulum of a clock are the example of oscillatory motion circular motion the motion of an object along a circular path is called circular motion the hand of a clock move in a circular manner similarly a fan a giant wheel and a merry go round complete each round along a circular route so for example motion of a giant wheel motion of the hand of the clock motion of the blade of the fan are the example of circular motion random motion the motion that changes its direction and speed continuously is called random motion for example swimming fishes flying birds and butterfly motion of the birds motion of the ants are the example of random motion periodic motion we know that second hand of a clock completes one round in exactly 60 second every time such a motion is periodic motion so we can say that the motion of a moving object in which it passes through a certain point again and again after a fixed period is called periodic motion for example minute of hand of a clock so let's know about distance the actual length of the path travel by an object during motion is called distance look at the view given if this man is near one tree and he want to reach his home and there is a road all round the garden so if the man travel from one tree to another tree and then reach the house so let imagine that one side of the road is about 4 km and the other side is 3 km so total distance traveled by man will be 4 km plus 3 km that is 7 km let's know about speed if we see any vehicle running slow we say that the speed of vehicle is slow and if we see any vehicle running fast we say that the speed is fast so the definition speed will be the distance travel by an object in unit time is called the speed of that object to find the speed of any moving object we have to understand the ratio of distance and the time required to cover the distance so the formula of speed is distance travels upon time required for traveling the distance the unit of speed is kilometer per hour or meter per second 
copy down the following assignment. Thank you for watching the video.